hi guys and welcome to this channel in this video without further ado let's just get into what is happening in our society today now of course you're aware i want to believe you're aware of the uh, building that collapsed in Ikoi, Lagos, Nigeria, right? And that the founder or the developer of that real estate building, Femi Oshibono, is dead. It was carried out of the wreckage a few days ago. Now, this man's body just literally came out and his family members are already fighting over the things he left behind his estate. Yes, I understand that his death wasn't one that was envisaged, but for somebody of that kind of caliber or somebody with that amount of wealth, I would believe that he has his estate or he had his estate somehow in order. I mean, in the case of eventualities like this one, but however, just few days after is that now let me tell you what happened his wife flew in from the united states when she heard of her husband's passing of course but then by the time she wanted to enter into her husband's residence in lagos nigeria his brothers god gracious his brothers already sealed the apartment and said she was not going to enter the apartment now she brought more paul the family members brought more paul and it became a shouting battle honestly it was a oh goodness gracious it was erratic according to what neighbor said it happened such that from afternoon when that woman got into you know the estate until 12 midnight they were still shouting at each other threatening each other and according to what the neighbors gathered they said it is because in the apartment there are um you know several documents deeds and keys to luxurious vehicles and a lot of his estates and everything that he owns basically is in that building and the family members want to have access to it saying the wife shouldn't have access the wife is like this is my husband I have four children for this man and they're like no we're going to be in the house in short neighbors had to actually throw them out of the estate like go and sort this thing outside of here you're beginning to disturb our peace we don't want to have anything to do with you guys i mean everybody's just saying this is a little bit ridiculous where were the where were the family members when it was toiling that's the question everybody's asking that's the question i actually want to know he's done well by his family he's done well by his immediate family They've, they're not even grieving <laughs> somebody was like these guys are not even grieving the loss of someone that was untimely you know very much untimely he just went there to inspect his building developing the building, the building was actually 80 percent completed let me tell you let me, let me even tell you this thing 65 percent sold out before completion completion people already bought the apartment had penthouses there were master nets there were rooms in that apartments that were for sale and it was already 65 percent sold out so not only did we lose Femi or shibon or that is his name if you do not know 65 i mean 65 percent of i don't know how many people already lost money because how would they recover the money maybe a bank i don't know how the settlement is going to go but his family members are not letting this man even rest at all they're already asking for things from the wife even before the burial of this man and it's just very saddening fabio shibono is a real is a real estate developer he came in from United States Atlanta where he actually has a lot of you know real estate properties to come develop a 21 story building here in Lagos Nigeria Gerald Street in Ikoyi to be very precise however on Monday the 1st of November 2021 news just got was that the building collapsed with several people inside in fact as I'm speaking the death toll is over 40 now and of course they've seen like nine people Come out of that wreck alive which is very small compared to you know the death toll that is counting but Femi Oshibono's whereabouts was not very known alongside a friend of his that see what happened is this he took his friend just that man he took actually had a flight to catch to us that money to the united states of america but then because his friend you know family of shibono is developing a building is almost completed so he said guy come come see where they you know now come see my new project before you go back to the united states and this man followed him only for it, neither of them actually to come out alive including the foreign expatriates you know because the, the developer of the building was on set was on site so a lot of other people came of course because organa <laughs> And then they all lost, lost their life, including his personal assistant, among a lot of other people. Now, Femi Oshibono is the MD and CEO of Fosco Homes, 
who they basically are into real estate. They develop buildings. It's had buildings in Atlanta. It's had build it has buildings in South Africa. It has buildings in Ghana. It has buildings in the United Kingdom. And this is just one that is been, actually supposed to be one of the most luxurious apartments, Lagos, Nigeria. Nigeria has a whole will have. But then it has collapsed, and that is the end of Femi Oshibono. And his family members are not even letting this man rest in peace. They are not even mourning the very sad circumstance that is surrounding his death and they're fighting over his properties. We don't know how that is going to end or if they're going to bury this man anytime soon because, of course, you know when this family Wahala starts like this, ending it is probably going to be in court. But along the way, let's just hope that they do right by this man that Dele Mamadou has referred to as one of the most upstanding and upright men is known. Fun fact, he's the vice president's cousin. If you do not know, Femi Oshibono <laughs> is a cousin to the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo. But then it is said that um, he's a very proud man who has a lot of integrity and he does not let the fact that he has people in the presidency get to him because even this building that he, he, he started developing he tried as much as possible to get permission to do it without the influence of people he knows in high powers you know that is what happened anyways guys i will see you in the next video that is it the family of femio shibono are at war and they are fighting over the estates that this man has left behind he left behind a wife and four children let's just see what will become of this family as time goes on bye guys yeah. BBC Pigeon Day Live for the uh, 21 story building where the, the uh, child rescue people are going to try zoom in if you see them. Uh, you see, see people they up for this place, did they try? Be like, say uh, they don't find person, we don't see say one person run inside with uh, oxygen uh, and other. And uh, those people we get white, white shirt and red cross uh, officials, uh, we they try see what did they try to do because all the excavation work don't slow down. And you see, see they, they carry that stretcher with the super use, uh, supposed use carry person. Uh, so uh, this now waiting they happen currently. We yeah, like uh, you go manage uh, uh, as we no, 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 try to. So. So, and they got him out. Please come, please, please come to us live. Come to us live. Uh, they don't bring out one person. We feel confirm now. Say they don't bring out one person. Yes. So uh, uh, we still did for Ikoyi for inside Lagos Abuja, the site of the place where a 121 story building being collapsed on November 1, 2021, uh, for afternoon. So just we feel just the watch as we the uh, show you live the rescue efforts we did try bring out one person. Uh, of course this is not BBC news pigeon if you just you have to get down. Please guys, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, 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 you can't stop here, you are blocking. As it be like this, this na ambulance where they come now, uh, it be like say the ambulance go try carry person, the person we um, they just rescue for inside the building. Hello Lagos. Yes I can. Can you hear me? Yes, sure. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, 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 uh, well, if we tell you, say that one person where they come out, that person they are alive and they, they try uh, carry the person come out. Thank you very much for dedicating some time and much training to us. This is actually going to trend. Just what you can see at the top of that hill there, at the top of that heap, is that somebody who's been pulled from the, the rubble alive. We were getting early inclinations that that was going to be the case. We saw oxygen being brought to the crash site and now we're seeing scenes of that person being able to emerge.
fully conscious out of that rubble. So in terms of the survivors that we've heard, this is definitely going to be major. The deputy Deputy Lagos State Governor. The Deputy Lagos State Governor will soon come out. Dr. Obafemi Hamzat uh, will come here, will make comments. On that survivor that's just been pulled from the rubble alive and functioning. Please just stay on with us. Hey, 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 BBC. Your camera is, your camera is blocking every other person. This is going to be groundbreaking. This will be the first. So can you go to the side? Um, the that we've been able to see would be emerging from that okay. rubble, alive and conscious. You can see there are lots of animals. They don't bring another uh, ambulance now to see what's in the happen. Bringing that person into emergency hospital care. And we're hoping that we'll be able to get an update. As you did see what did happen now, this is not the second ambulance we don't enter inside the place. Uh, we did try to find out what did happen uh, earlier on. We see one person run inside with an uh, oxygen uh, uh, container. As that oxygen container, I don't carry them go and we don't remove, they don't confirm, remove one person with the alive. Uh, and then uh, part of the work of the Red Cross plus also the National Management Emergency Agency and then two hand as they try to remove the person. Uh, we also feel that you see currently the uh, we also tell you, say, Dr. Hamzat Obafemi will be the uh, Deputy Governor of Lagos State, also on the ground. Uh, and Ingo soon tell us what happened as they bring out this person from inside this building we collapsed since yesterday. It almost surprised for a lot of people to hear, see, one person did survive because this thing now, now almost, pa it don't pass 12 hours. It did hot yesterday, even rain fall for the middle of the night. And many people, they try to find out, say, ah, at least two, at least they don't find another person. But up to now, they still never feel confirmed how many people actually did inside the building if you tell you now see two ambulances don't enter inside and we continue to go giving out more updates of course if you just they join us this is not bbc news uh, pigeon and we did life for inside ikoyi for lagos state as they don't bring out one person from inside the building bring us out i'm on the highest of my tippy toes as close as possible uh we've got the camera stand on them bringing him down but we've not been able to see the person just yet that's why there's so much excitement on the ground everyone's trying to get a glimpse of the person see if they'll be able to make any type of comments to the person. It's unlikely to be the case, but we will try and identify. Yes, yes. Can you see that? You've got the emergency services in the far distance on ground running, and they, it does look as though they have that person. NTA! NTA, please, can you drop your camera? Thank you. Just in, the, just in the horizon there, there are people on the ground, so that body has been brought from the top of that rubble down to the ground. It's hard for you to see that movement, but with the person here, it looks as though they're getting ready to move them out into, uh, into an ambulance to go to the streets, which is exactly why you've got the police and the emergency services with the police commander there in the orange vest calling for people to move out of the way. They, they try to make people, people come out, uh, both onlookers and even journalists, where they block uh, make people see as they, they try to do this rescue mission. We don't understand why everybody just they carry a giddy ban ginger. I won't see what they happen because it's supposed to be for me, everybody see them. But if you confirm for now, see when does they watch, say they don't come out one person inside uh, this 21 story building. We've been collapsed around 2 25 p.m. yesterday. Um, of course, now this is going to make the number of people where they don't come out from yesterday to six people based on waiting uh, the last time my agency don't talk because uh, for middle of the night they talk to they remove five people and now another person will go join this one will become six people according to last time reports of course don't forget say different uh, uh, emergency services get different numbers for the kind of number of people where they don't come out from inside uh, this uh, building uh, but we continue to be giving our updates of course if you go to our website it's not bbc news pigeon uh, for more updates but just day here as we did try to see what they happen as they just come out this one person from that hill up there uh, for inside uh, this uh, building we collapse now for this place uh, where you see that person we get white helmet now for this place they come on the person uh, and the person been dead there overnight and uh, they carry another uh, container of uh, oxygen uh, as you see that person in blue uh, they carry uh, the container of oxygen they try run inside and uh, all of this now part of the emergency services uh, work as they, they try of course recuperate this person and make sure say, this person survive yes
would I wear do you feel like the reason for the deputy government? It's good PR. <laughs> Please, please, please. Abdul Abdul Was, even you save the block. Can you keep going forward? You save the block. You save the block. You save the block. No more. Please, 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 please. If we're going to go, then bend down if we're going to stand in front of others because we're blocking each other. As they watch now, of course, one of the ambulance don't they come out? They rush with one of the people. Um, we uh, they, they just come out from inside the, the building on um, the the clear road, me so that they feel carry the person and uh, go hospital for proper treatment. Of course, they don't they start first aid work for inside the, the ambulance that they carry the person go hospital. Okay. Like I said, the second ambulance goes so follow road uh, because the first one don't come out. Um, and of course, you can see that person we wear blue, we carry in container of oxygen inside. Uh, now we go find out uh, whether I be like saying that soon, but we never too sure. He's on mic. He's on mic. He's on mic. He's on mic. You are able to. You are able to also. No, no, no. We are able to also get the this is not the second ambulance where they come out. It be like say they carry uh, another person. That means it be like say now two people. Uh, but we never too sure. We never hear anything. Uh, we go hear from the deputy governor to confirm how many people they actually come out from inside uh, the place. But now two ambulances we drive in and two ambulances we drive out. And we see say they carry two containers of uh, oxygen inside the space. If it does the journal this time BBC News Pigeon, we did live for the site of the 21 story building collapse here on yesterday for afternoon. As it is seen, I'm again, it be like seeing another mobile clinic, aka ambulance, one enter inside the, uh, the building. Uh, we still they took eye for waiting, uh, they happen uh, for this place. Um, and we did see, see this ambulance, they try to push itself inside as the deputy governor still did uh, for inside uh, the site. We did still wait to hear what the deputy governor go talk about uh, the rescue of these people. Uh, many people, uh, they hope, see, maybe they go still find more survivors. Uh, and we go wait to hear what will happen. Hello. So if you carry a check uh, for waiting to happen uh, for this place, they still get the people uh, with the for that corner where they just save one person. Uh, and we want to see whether maybe uh, plenty of people still actually did for that side because they don't pack their self uh, to find out uh, whether they feel still see uh, still see still feel see another uh, person you will see see one person with white helmet and uh, they, they still did work 
uh, inside that hole where they find one person. So uh, a lot of hope they see uh, they go maybe find another person. But two ambulances been don't drive out come out for uh, this area. Of course, this now BBC News Pigeon we still day live uh, for inside the, the 21 story building we call us for inside the Koyi for Lagos, Nigeria. I am uh, the deputy governor. Uh, been already the ground uh, and in the and many people they wait to hear waiting in go talk about the matter. Continue. 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 Continue.